Okay, for this video, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the difference of two sets. Um, this is symbolized by A minus B, where this represents set A and this represents set B. It can be used for any name of any set. Um, but basically, the difference of two sets, it's the set of all elements that belong to the first set, so set A, but not also to the second set. So basically, what we're doing is we're taking the first set and we're subtracting out anything that is in common with the second set. So I have several examples here. Um, what we have is we have a universal set that are the letters A through H, so A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H. Set A contains just the letters A, B, F, and G. Set B contains the letters A, B, C, E, and H. And set C contains the letters B, E, F, and H. So we're gonna find several different situa situations. Um, the first one is A minus B. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to look at A, and A has the letters A, B, F, and G, and we're going to take out any that they have in common. So if you notice, these are in common. So we're just going to look at what's left. So if I take the two that they have in common, the only thing that I'm left with is F and G. And I'm going to go ahead and erase those marks, but you can always cross off things. Um, we can see that F and G are the only two letters that A contains that are not also in B. The second one that we're going to look at is B minus C. So now we're going to look at these two sets. So we're going to look at these two, and we're going to cross out anything that they have in common. So the B is in common, the E is in common, and the H is in common. So we can see that B is going to be left with A and C. So the letters, and let me erase those before I go to the next part. So the only two letters that are left are A and C. All right, for the next one, what we have is we have A naught. Remember that this is the complement of A. We're looking for all letters that are in the universal set that are not in A. So what we wanna do here is we wanna first find A naught before we can simplify this. So A naught, we can see that A and B are in the universal set. C and D are in the universal set, but not in A. So we would have C and D, E, and then H. So C, D, and C, D, E, and H are the letters in the universal set that are not in set A. So now what we're going to do is we're going to compare A naught and C. So anything that they have in common, so we can see that they both have an E and they have an H in common. So the only thing that is left in A naught, so I can see that I can cross this one out and this one out, and we can see that what we're left with is C and D. So if it helps you to write it out each time and cross off the letters, you can do that. Um, some people can just look at it. Some people will draw a Venn diagram and see. Um, there's a lot of ways that you can solve these problems. So C and D are the two letters that are left in A, that are not in A, and also not in C. It's kind of hard to read when you have the negations in there. All right, so our last one that we're gonna look at is B minus A naught. So we're looking at this set right here, B, and we're looking at this set here. And we're gonna look for what's left in B that is not also in A. So we can see that we can cross out the C, the E, and the H. So we are only left with the letters A and B. So the only letters that are just in B but not also in A naught or the complement of A are the letters A and B. So this process is very simple. Like I said, all you have to do is take out um, anything that the two sets that you're comparing and whatever set is first, you're just going to write what is left in that set after you take out whatever they have in common. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or additional topics that you would like me to cover, please let me know.